Assalamu alaikum I am Abdullah Khan and this is my sociology research on the following topic which is anti vaccination movements and how anti covid 19 movements formed and what are its objectives so historical movements against vaccines is my topic of interest at first and we will be looking at smallpox and the anti vaccination leagues in england to be specific Several written accounts from 1500s describe smallpox inoculation in China and India. Grinding up smallpox scraps and blowing the powder into the nostril or by scratching matter from smallpox sore into skin. But who was the first to describe smallpox inoculation in the United Kingdom? Let's have a look at that. So it was Lady Mary Wortley Montagu who witnessed smallpox inoculation in Istanbul and other accounts are given below. Inoculation using smallpox did carry risk of serious infections and death. Let us look at the first vaccination case for smallpox in England who was Edward Jenner whose accomplishments are given as below. He was the first one who inoculated James Pitts who was son of Jed Jenner's gardener and took the pus from cowpox blisters of Sarah Nelms it is a very historical account which was the first ever vaccination incident vaccination spread across europe after this napoleon had the troops vaccinated and awarded jenner a medal because France was at war at that time with Great Britain Jenner requested British POWs to be released in 1802 he was granted 10000 pounds and 1807 he was granted 20000 pound stipend in 1803 first meeting of the Royal Jennerian Society happened 1827 1858 deaths in london from smallpox down from 18447 from the last decade without vaccination 1840 britain national vaccine act was formed and 1853 uk's vaccination act in 1879 lewis pasteur first developed a laboratory vaccine for chicken cholera in 1884 lewis pasteur attenuates rabies virus and successfully prevents infection in dogs in 1885 joseph meister bitten by rabid dog first documented human rabies vaccination was uh, given at that time 13 daily doses of attenuate rabies vaccine were given in 1948 newly established who issues a report praising new technique of a freeze dried vacuum packed vaccine from vaccine institute in paris and in 1954 sock polio vaccine trial began in us for 1.3 million children and results were published in 1955 showing 80 to 90% effectiveness against paralytic polio cutter incident 24th of april 1955 few weeks after press release of sock vaccine trial Idaho doctor reports some case of paralytic polio in recently vaccinated girl beginning in vaccinated arm several more reports raised over few weeks all associated with vaccine produced by cutter laboratories in california of which 11 people died and hundreds were paralyzed most likely the production methods were not good in 1959 albert sabin's attenuated oral polio vaccine fed to 10 million soviet children and ultimately creates trivalent opv in 1964 he refused to patent his vaccine and refused any monetary gain from development of the vaccine now In 1963 John Ender licenses Edmonston B strain of measles virus vaccine who is known as father of modern vaccines given Nobel prize for polio virus isolation in 1967 WHO launches intensified smallpox eradication program
UK smallpox outbreak. 1978, Janet Parker, a photographer at University of Birmingham Medical School, dies of smallpox. She worked in dark room, one floor above research laboratory, where work was being done on live smallpox virus. 300 contacts were then quarantined. Mother contracted smallpox but survived. Henry Batson, head of microbiology department, had been advised of changes recommended by WHO for lab practices but did not fully implement them and subsequently commit suicide. In 2006, human papillomavirus HPV quadrivalent vaccine licensed in U.S. In 2014, Group B meningococcal virus approved in U.S. along with existing ACYW-135 covers vast majority of invasive meningococcal strains. Anti-COVID-19 movement. In 2020, a COVID vaccine was produced, built on work to develop MERS vaccine, DNA-based and viral vector vaccines, rapid sequences of RNA genome, currently 22 vaccines authorized for use around the world. They are RNA vaccines, adenovirus vector vaccine, inactivated vaccines, and subunit vaccines, each of which are given below. In 18th century, Reverend Edmund Massey, United Kingdom, delivered sermon in 1772. The dangerous and sinful practice of inoculation Vaccines were an attempt to oppose God's punishments upon mankind. Reverend John William USA cites similar arguments claiming vaccines are the devil's work. In 19th century, move from religious opposition to political and legal. British Laws Vaccine Act 1853 and 67 mandated parents vaccinate their children. Birth of Anti-Vaccination League and Anti-Compulsory Vaccination League protects people's liberties being invaded by Parliament. In 1898, Vaccination Act, Parliament removes penalties for not abiding by vaccination laws, added consciousness objector clause. In the U.S. at the end of the 19th century, outbreaks of smallpox and vaccine campaigns led to related anti-vaccine activity. In 1879, Anti-Vaccination Society of America founded following visit by prominent British anti-vaccinationist William Tebb. In 1882, New England Anti-Compulsory Vaccination League and 1885, Anti-Vaccination League of New York. Let's look at the role of the Internet. In USA, 70% of all vaccination websites are against vaccines. CF 17% in Canada. U.S. survey, 55% American public trusted medical scientists on vaccines. Public sentiments expressed by respected and intelligent celebrities. Turning the tide against the anti-vaxxers, WHO declared vaccine hesitancy movement one of the top 10 global health threats for 2019, governments adopting legislation to force social media companies to remove false information about vaccines. The U.S. Court of Federal Claims Vaccine Court, 1888, August 2010, 5,632 claims relating to autism and vaccines. One received compensation, 738 dismissed. COVID-19 Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, European skepticism. January 25th, German newspaper Handelsblatt publishes article, AstraZeneca vaccine apparently hardly effective in seniors, rapidly rebuffed but came at time of tension between EU and AZ over unfulfilled vaccine shipments. 29th January, European Medicines Agency EMA gave vaccine conditional authorityism for use in all people. Anti-vaccination summary. Complex web of interconnected drivers, personal liberty, anti-establishment conspiracy theories, children's rights, religion, financial gain. Vaccines do have the potential to cause serious complications, but unlike most other medical interventions, vaccines are given to healthy people. Success of vaccine has made diseases rare and led to incorrect heuristic thinking about risks versus benefits. Let us compare 19th century and 20th century. Those who feel smallpox vaccination is ineffective in 19th century, in 20th they feel some or all vaccination are ineffective slash unsafe. Those who feel relatives suffered injury death due to vaccination in 20th, those who believe relatives suffered an injury death due to vaccination. 
those opposed to compulsory vaccination as infringement of basic human rights in 20th century opposed compulsory vaccination as infringement of basic human rights in conclusion although the time periods have changed the emotions and deep rooted beliefs whether philosophical political or spiritual that underlie vaccine opposition have remained relatively consistent since edward jenner introduced vaccine thank you very much for listening to me and if you have any questions you can ask thanks